Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple beaded 3D doll. And special thanks to Corinne Hawkins for suggesting this. So let's get started. Well, here I have a Dalmatian and also Clifford because why not? Um, so yeah, what you will need uh, for beads, you will need 124 body color. I'm going to be using like a tan today, like a cream color. And uh, three beads for the eyes and the nose. And you can make your dog any color you want. You could add patterns like I did for the Dalmatian. Uh, or you can just make it a solid color. And I'm going to just be doing the solid color today. You will also need 28 inches or 72 centimeters of 28 gauge wire. I use black copper wire and I get it on firemountaingems.com. Uh, this is what the, the packaging looks like. This one isn't, this is not copper wire, but this is what the logo looks like. And yeah. It's good quality and it's pretty cheap as well. All right, uh, you also need a ruler to measure your wire. You'll need scissors to cut your wire. And then you also need something to hold your beads in. I'm using these little bead scooper thingies. You can also use like a watercolor tray or something. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So first you're gonna take your wire and meet the two ends together, just like that. And then strip it back to find the center and just lightly fold it in half so you don't have a crease at the middle of your wire. So it should look like that. Now you're going to take one of your black beads and put it on your wire and this is going to be the nose. Bring it all the way down, let it rest in the center. Now you're going to Kind of hold it in place with your thumb and first finger and take one of your wires and loop it around and through that bead. Now you can pinch it just so it doesn't lose place. And before you pull tight all the way, strip your wires back and just make sure they're even. Mine are a little not even, they're a little uneven. So what you could do is pull on your loop and then whatever wire is shorter, you pull on that one. So now, <laughs> it's the opposite, so now I have to do it again. Pull here, pull on that a little bit, and yep, they're relatively even. So now you can pull tight. Now if you grab your bead, strip your wires back just to straighten them out, and now you're going to take your next beads, which are going to be two of your body color beads. I'm just going to move the dogs out of the way just so... You can see it a little better. Uh, two body colored beads and two. Just bring those down to look like that. And now you're going to take the empty wire, the wire that's opposite, loop it around, and then stick it through those beads. Just like that and pull tight. Just like that. Now you're going to do the same thing, a bunch of your beads and straighten your wires. Now we're going to do a row of three, which will have the eyes in it. So take your eye bead, one of your black beads, and then one of your body colored beads. And then another black bead. That should be the last of your black beads unless you're doing black spots or something and bring there's a lot of wire so it's kind of a little bit messy but uh there you go rest your wires like that and take your empty wire loop it around and through the beads on your other wire and your wires should be going opposite directions so They'll always be facing away from each other. You should never have two wires exiting out of one bead. They should always be exiting in different directions. Okay, so now you're going to take three beads, and these are just going to be body color. One, two, three. Bring those down. You're going to do the same thing. 
whatever wire is the empty one, loop it around and stick it through those three beads. And pull tight. It should look like that. There's the little face of your dog. And now we're going to add the ears. So we're going to just work on one wire at a time. And if you've ever done a beaded lizard before, this is a lot similar to it. So ignore this wire for now. Just work on this wire. So take that by itself and put on three beads. Oops. <laughs> there you go. Three bring them down and now what you're gonna do is take one the first bead that you put on and loop your wire all the way around here let me zoom out loop your wire around and through the first bead that you put on so it's like a little loop just like that and then you can pull it tight Just like that, and there is one ear. Now we'll do the second one. So ignore this side now, and you're gonna work on this side. It's the exact same thing, just on the other side. So three beads on your wire. One, two, and three. Bring it down. Take the end of your wire, loop it around and through the first bead that you put on. And pull tight. Just like that. And there is your little dog head with ears. The next step is you're going to put another three beads on your wire. So one, two, three. Bring down, take your empty wire, loop it across and pull tight. There we go. Another three beads on your wire. One, two, three. Bring it down. Do the same process. in three beads on your wire one more time and do the exact same thing. One, two, three. Just like that. And now we're going to do a row of four. One, two, three, four, bring it down, do the same process, all right, <laughs> this does look a little funny, but we will uh, bend the neck, so it, at, well, when we're done or when we're farther into the project, we'll bend the neck so it won't look as weird. Anyways, okay, so now we're going to do the leg. So this time we're going to just going to isolate one wire. So I'm just going to work on the bright one right now. And we're going to put 11 beads on our single wire. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
and 11. I'm going to bring all those down. And this is a lot like uh, the beaded lizard foot. So if you s take the last three and just separate them out like that, and then it's kind of like the ear as well. Take your wire and loop it around and skip those three beads and loop it through the rest of them. So you should have eight beads that you're stringing your wire through. Now pull tight. Be careful that you don't kink your wire or anything. And, oops, sorry, I kind of missed me pulling it tight. Just like that. Now, here you have one leg. And now you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So get this wire out of the way and ignore it for a little bit. Now take your other wire and put 11 beads on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Bring those down. Now what you're going to do is take three and kind of separate them from the rest of the beads. Take your wire, loop it around, and string it through the rest of your eight beads. And then pull tight. Just like that. And there you have the front legs of your dog. And they look like spaghetti noodles right now, but we're going to fix that later. All right, now we're going to do a row of five. We're actually going to do five rows of five. So, but this row, just do five. One, two, three, four, and five. You know the process. Take your empty wire, loop it around, and through the beads. Pull tight. And now you're going to do another row of five. One, two, three, four, and five. Do the same process. Pull tight. Do another row of five. One, two, three, four, and five. Do another row of five. Same process. And finally, one more row of five. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're kind of going to like accordion fold these beads. So if you see on my other ones, um, See how there's kind of a zigzag going with the wire, like whoop, 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 whoop. That's what we're going to do. And it makes just makes the body thicker, which makes it like it's not made of paper, you know. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do, it's actually pretty simple. We're just going to bend it 
down and then up and just like see how the beads nestle into each other just like that so it's not that complicated you can tighten it if you need to just like that and now we're gonna add our next row which was is going to be three beads One, two, three. Do the same process. And mine are a little twisted here. Um, and pull tight. Now we're going to do another row of three. One, Two, three, and pull tight. I'm just gonna have that settle in that little little crevice right there. And we're gonna do one more row of three. One, two. Three. Move it around and through. Pull tight. Just like that. And as you see, they are, I'm sorry, <laughs> it keeps getting blurry. Uh, the wire is zigzagging up and down, and that's exactly what we want. Now we're going to add the back legs. So isolate one of your wires and we're going to add 12 beads this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. Sorry if there's background noise. Someone just turned on a fan in the other room, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, and as we did with the first um, leg, we're going to separate out three beads and then loop our wire around and string it through the other nine beads. Pull tight. There we go. Now we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oop, <laughs> eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, now we're gonna separate three beads out. Skip those and loop your wire, loop your wire around and through all the nine beads. And pull tight. There you go. And there's your legs, the back legs. And now we're going to move on to the tail. So we're going to get two beads on our wire. We're almost done. One, two. Do the same process. Just, yeah, take your empty wire, loop it around and through the two beads. And now we're going to do one bead on our wire and we're going to do this seven times. So one, two,
three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. And there we go. There's your dog. And now we're going to finish it off. So how I like to finish it off. Um, I loop wire around and through the last bead that I put on. Pull tight. And do the exact same thing with the other side except the opposite direction. Pull tight and now I'm going to take both wires and twist them together. And now I'm going to snip the excess and then just fold the little point down. There we go. And now we're going to um, shape our dog. So depending on which way you want the tail to go, I'll put mine like that, you bend the legs down just like that and let's we can bend the little feet like that and there's a specific way we bend the legs too but I'm gonna fix this neck so uh, basically what you're gonna do is kind of zigzag those beads the same way you did the body except there's not as many of them and there you have the neck like that and okay so the legs the front legs kind of just bend like that both of them and the back legs bend like that and then like that so it's like a little s shape almost like like that you can also look at pictures of dogs just to kind of get it exactly the way you want it because I just looked at a picture and I'm like, okay, just bend it like this. So I don't know if it's perfect, but that's all right. And if you want, you can also bend the ears down or if you want to have them stick up like other dogs sometimes have, you can have them stick up. <laughs> but I like bending mine down. And there is your little dog. So I hope you really like it. I hope yours turned out well and the tutorial is easy to follow. Um, leave me a comment and a like on this video if you liked it. And if you're not subscribed yet, then subscribe for more content. I post tutorials every eighth of the month. And if you want to suggest anything, feel free to do so and leave a comment below. Thanks again to Corinne Hawkins for suggesting this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye! And there is...